In today's video, I'm opening a massive vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery box. What's up guys, we're back with another mystery box opening. And in this mystery box, there's some amazing stuff. This was sent to me by, guess who? Lars. Somehow Lars has an infinite supply of mystery boxes. I think he lives in Konami's, uh, you know, secret basement where they keep all their old product that definitely exists. I'm pretty sure he lives there and he just makes mystery boxes out of them and sends them to us. So last time, if you missed it, we pulled Lars an absolutely insane card. Go check out that video. It was just like a week or two ago. And he immediately was like, hey, I got a couple more mystery boxes for you. He said, pick one. I said, I don't even remember if I picked it or if he just picked one randomly, but there was like multiple options. That's how many mystery boxes he has. So we've had amazing luck for him and he's had amazing luck for himself in the past. There's actually two separate openings in this box. Uh, there's two separate like clear uh, themes here. So I decided to make two videos out of this. So we're gonna do first the theme of searching for the ghost rare Stardust Dragon. But before we get into that, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a display of Ghosts from the Past 2. Not just a mini box, a full display. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below what you think about Lars Mystery Box. And make sure to thank him in the comments for yet another awesome mystery box and really awesome videos that I get to make at no cost thanks to Lars. So I really appreciate him for allowing me to open this stuff up for him. It's super fun. And I know you guys appreciate the free content for you guys as well. All right, let's go through what he sent us for this search for the Ghost Stardust Dragon. I know I've already told you this multiple times, but he actually had another mystery box he was going to send me with a first dead Stardust Dragon that he pulled inside and then an all, another Ghost Rare Unlimited Stardust. So he pulled two already. So hopefully we can have some of that luck and pull a third one for him and have the playset. So first off, we have an Unlimited Duelist Genesis Blister Pack, which is uh, apparently at $199 at one point. Please, if I could buy these at $199, I would have thousands of these packs. I would buy so many of them. Duelist Genesis Unlimited, obviously, it's kind of what we need to open today. There's also... 10 of these Duel's Genesis Special Editions. So it's basically a full Special Edition box. He probably opened it just to get them out because those Special Edition boxes are really hard to ship. They're gigantic. So he took them out and gave us 10 of those or didn't give it to us, but sent it to us. I have to clarify that because sometimes people think that, that people are giving me all these cards and it's like, no, I will say if they gifted them to me. This is just an opening for Lars to help him pull some good cards. And then the final piece is actually a really funny story here. You may recognize this 10 from being on the channel previously. So if you remember Kaz mystery box he sent us, he had a special challenge and we didn't complete the challenge. So what our uh, option was at the end was to buy this tin off of him. So I ended up buying this specific tin from Kaz, like literally this one, not like a Stardust tin, like this Stardust tin. And it was pretty expensive. And I was like, you know what? I'll just put it up on my, on my website. I don't think I'm gonna open this one up. Put it on my website. Lars buys it. I ship it to him and then he sends it back to us in the mystery box. So Kaz sent it to us. We could have opened it. Decided not to, sold it, Lars bought it. Lars then sends it back to us to open. So for me, it's all working out great. I get to open it up. So thank you, Lars, for first of all, buying this tin off of me. Thanks, Kaz, for sending it in the first place and then allowing us to open it up. So it's gonna be hilarious if there's like a first dead ghost stardust. I wouldn't be even be mad. Like some people ask like, if you sell, I know I'm taking a long time to get to the opening. So I'll, I'll be opening while I talk. I'll put this back in the background. But some people always ask me, hey, if you like uh, sell a, a pack and it has an amazing pull in it, or do you get angry? And I'm like, no, I don't get angry at all because these people are the ones who took the risk. Like they bought it off me. I got to sell it. And then they took a risk of losing a lot of money and they pulled an amazing card. So I'm just happy for him. That's pretty awesome that that happened. So here we go. Duelist Genesis. And also, by the way, the part two of this box will probably be tomorrow. Could be two days. Not totally sure. But part two is going to involve old school cards, some GX as well. So this, it's a good, really good variety. I figured we go backwards in time. Five D's first. Domino effect. Speaking of, I got have a hiccup right there. Twin Shield Defender. I'll also apologize for the background. It's not set up yet. Uh, this is taking a while, but you guys saw the update video and we are doing our best. But I think the lighting is actually coming together really well. Like you guys like this, like the the this lighting and then the hand cam lighting. I did a little update on my lighting setup and I feel like it looks even better. So I'm pretty excited. Junk Barrage. Let's pull a Ghost Rare Stardust with the first, you know, one of the first openings here in the new setup. We have the Maiden of the Macabre. I specifically remember that Maiden card being used by one of my friends in Duel Links in 2017. I know Duel Links. Uh, there's got to be a bingo card for me and Duel Links reference will be on there. It'll get checked every time. All right. I finally found my knife, which, you know, ni knife uh, appearance on the screen. I know you guys always love that. And, and there should be on the bingo card. Someone in the comments references the knife that would get checked off every time, too. All right. Duelist Genesis. Here we go. We've got a lot of packs 
packs to be open today. That's why one reason I decided to go two parts is there were a clear divide in like different types of packs. And I was like, it'll make good for two different themes of two different videos. And then two, there was a lot of packs. So every time we do Lars videos, they end up being like 45 minutes, which is not a problem at all. I actually like doing those long ones, but sometimes like now there's an eradicator epidemic virus. That's actually a good card. Like now I could use two videos because I'm moving in and that will make it a little bit easier on me because wow, moving in takes forever. All right. The Duelist Genesis, not first edition. There will be some first edition though later on in that Stardust 10 because they did not come. I will mention if you're a longtime fan of the channel, you know that first edition Duelist Genesis did not come in first ed in North America. You could only get in the tens and pre- Ultra Ruxin special right to the ultimate rare red dragon arch feed. Oh, what a mistake. Wow, that is how you mess up a pack trick right there. I think Lars will be okay with that mess up though. Ultimate rare red dragon arch fiend. Hilariously, this guy did not have a ghost rare because he was also in the Stardust pack for a long time, but then he got the ghost rare and ghost of the past two, which is part of the giveaway and you guys can enter that. So make sure you enter it, try to get that ghost rare. That is a beautiful looking ultimate. It. That's such a good pull. We're on the second pack of Duelist Genesis. We've already pulled that. It's a great start. And I'm not going to lie. It's Lars, so I'm not even surprised. Let's see. Was there an error or something? No. Okay. I was supposed to do three. I accidentally did four, I think. So, whoops. That was on me. All right. Second pack of the special edition. Third overall pack. We have already pulled an ultimate rare Red Dragon Archfiend. Uh, that's one of the best cards in the set. There's also the... I was about to say Plague Spreader. That's not it. Okay. One, two, three. Let's not mess this up. There's a Ghost Rare Stardust. There's the Ultra Rare Stardust and there's the Ultimate Rare Stardust, all really good options. There is the Chart of the Light Brigade Secret, that'd be a big one. Cycling Batteries, who remembers that? We've pulled that many times. We have Shocker, Cranium. By the way, I will mention here, I have never pulled the Ghost Rare Stardust ever. So I'm really hoping that we can do that. That'd be pretty cool. I don't even care that it's not for me. Like, it would be awesome to pull it for Lars. We have Mind Over Matter and Judgment of Thunder. The Thunder Kid, I think, is who that was on the artwork. Third pack. Okay, we are... Okay, I'm not exactly sure how many minutes this is after editing, but somehow it's been 11 minutes of me recording. One, I couldn't find my knife. Two, there was something else happening. I, I messed up at the beginning or something. I don't remember what happened. I've been stumbling all over the place. I've been chatting too much. I know some people don't like on a chat too much. Herald of the Orange Light, that's a good rare. And Judgment of Thunder at it again. So I apologize for taking a long time, guys. I'm just I'm just having fun. Like, I kind of forgot Lars sent this. I went to my uh, P.O. box today and I saw it's from Lars. And every time I see a box from Lars, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is going to be fun. So that was exciting. That was a good little little update. All right, let's see. And it's always fun. I can't get this thing open. Oh, it's because it's got that plastic thing on the back. OK, that's why. Let's go this way. Duelist Genesis Special Edition. Man, Duelist Genesis is not... Oh, there we go. Here, Klinos, I forgot was I forgot the promo was even back there. Not a set you get to open very often anymore. So very cool. The lighting is looking nice today. I'm liking this. It's looking way better. I like this a whole lot. And unfortunately, the lighting is better. Look at my hair right now. Yeah, it does not look good. It does not look good. One, two. I did a nighttime shower like last night after playing basketball. And I was like, I took one last night. I don't even, I usually do two. I usually do one at night, one in during the day or one in the morning. But I had something to do this morning. So I didn't. I just fixed my hair. And this is what happened. So yeah, I look terrible. We have Turbo Booster. But who cares? It's a Yu Gi Oh video. It doesn't matter what you look like. We have Turbo Booster. We have Telekinetic Charging Cell. Wait, does that look like it has something weird going on with the letters? Like there's like little line storm that's kind of weird okay recycling batteries when you see that spell card you can be like ooh, that might be a charge of the light brigade that'd be sweet nothing in that pack we still have a lot of packs to open and i am chitter chattering the whole time there's going to be a few people emailing me about this no maybe not but one two three it has happened before equip shot very nice we have the noise for some reason i just had like a panic moment I looked over there and I was like, oh, no, I'm not recording my hands. I was like, wait, I don't record my hands over there. The tricky. See, I think there's something going on with these names. It looks like there's supposed to be something else there. Like, is that like one of those weird name errors where th there's another name in there? I feel like there could be Mecha Bunny. That's that's not good. So I don't know what's going on with those names. But yeah, with the new setup, whenever you set up your stuff somewhere else, there's always a million issues. And I've been worried about it the whole time because there already has been a million issues. I feel like we figured them out for the most part, but it's just always scary that you're going to record a video. It's just going to not record or something like that, or you're not recording the right thing or whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? Trap of Darkness and Lightwave Tune. You might not know what I mean if you've never like done recordings or anything but you guys that are other youtubers and stuff like that or maybe you do something else that re involves recording you know what i mean okay 
third special. There's 10 of these, by the way. So there's a lot more potential. We've only pulled one foil, but it's been a great one. And of course, the one foil I pulled, I ultra rux and special it right to the front, which I barely ever do anymore. And of course, I do it on the biggest card of the video so far. Hopefully not in general. Hopefully we'll top that at some point. Okay, Eradicator Epidemic Virus. There we go. That, I mean, the foil looks good in this lighting. I'm liking this lighting. It's looking really good. Three more packs. You guys know how it goes in a special edition. I gotta be careful too not to, I had to get another uh, phone holder too for the setup. I am gonna do a video for you guys on the setup at some point. One, two, three. Before I couldn't do it because there was just too much crap like everywhere, mine protector, but I had to get a new phone holder because my tripod doesn't fit on this desk anymore based on the new mount we're using and all this different stuff. We have a Zanami and recycling batteries yet again. See, the recycling batteries always show up. Let's see, Duelist Genesis. One, two, three. Can we, oh man, don't drop the cards. All right, that means there was a ghost trick because it wanted to be dropped. But yeah, I had to get a new phone. It's like mounted to the desk. So if I hit the desk, it starts shaking. I'm trying not to do that as well as possible. Tricky spell number four, we have Oystermeister. Krebon's a very good card. We have Made It of Baka. Oh, we did get a foil. I thought it might've been something crazy for a second. It kind of looked like an ultimate rare. But then I remembered this is old style ultimate. I couldn't have seen it on the borders. Unstable evolution, very cool. Monkey Man Alien, very creepy on that stone. Okay, third pack, the Duelist Genesis. One, two, three. Searching for the ghost rare Stardust Dragon. Will this be the time we finally pull it? And I can add this to my pull every ghost goal. I can say I've pulled the uh, Stardust Dragon, small piece golem, turbo booster. Oh man, I can't pull these cards. Grapple blocker and silent strider. All right, next box. Let's see if we can, we have a super and an ultimate, not bad, but if we could get the ultra stardust, that'd be pretty awesome. Or the ghost rare, of course, is what we're really wanting. So let's see, we have, we get another eradicator epidemic virus. I think that's the one we would prefer over the Heraclinos. So that's good if we get more of those than the Heraclinos. Now back to the Duelist Genesis. Packs are opening a little weird. That thing ripped open very strangely. Let's see. One, two, three. We have Sword of Kusanagi, Ghost Gardener, Space Gate, Genis, or Psychic Rejuvenation, Junk Barrage, Beast of the Pharaoh, Yamato no Kami, and the Noisy Gnat. That is a Noisy Gnat, but it is not a foil, unfortunately. Second pack in this pack. We still have six left and then the, the 10 with the first dead pack. So... A lot of potential to get a Stardust, whether it be the Ghost or not. But we've already gotten the Red Dragon Archfiend, so we can't ask for too much. But I will, indeed. We have the Lighting, Fighting Spirit, and a Domino Effect again. Every time I see the spell, I'm just hoping for that Charge of the Light Brigade, because that's a pretty big card, even in Unlimited, especially with Light Sworn getting more support recently. That card's probably still going to be pretty nice, the original printing. Telekinetic Shocker. I once pulled that first ed, though, uh, the uh, Charge of Light Brigade. We have the Golem Booster. We got Barrier, Orb of Yasaka, Graceful Revival with the Skull Servant, and another Unstable Evolution. The same super. Very interesting. We were pulling the same guy over and over. All right. To the third, or why am I saying three? The fifth special edition we should so about halfway through after this one all right another hero so that's fine but not the one we're looking for still a decent card three more chances we can save it for the first set if we really have to but unlimited i will be happy i will be happy if we get that gosher we have the mecha bunny equip shot noisy gnat the small piece golem krebons tricky spell four psychic commander Izanami and the Mind Protector, protecting the mind. What is the Stardust doing? Is it going to be here today? Is it going to make an appearance or are we going to go Stardust list? The search for the Stardust must end today. We have Remote Revenge. We have Maiden of a Cob. Oh, and a Kinkabayo. Look at that centering. It's terrible. This card is literally almost off the card. This thing for a while was really expensive. I think it's not as expensive anymore. But for a super, it was like $10 or something crazy. A lot of these 5Ds super rares can be really expensive sometimes if they don't have a reprint. Okay, another foil. So that's three supers now, one ultimate, no ultras, and obviously no ghost twin shield defender let's see if we can change that right now domino effect we take an ultra as well there's some good ones 
Oyster Meister. Yeah, Go Yo Guardian would be amazing as well. Medium Peace Golem. We have the Grapple Blocker and another Gear Town. Everything seems to end with a spell card here. Halfway through the special editions, we saw five more chances. Well, 15 more if you count the three packs inside. Okay, another Eradicator Epidemic Virus. I feel like we've gotten maybe like 50-50 on these. Maybe there could be 4-2 Eradicator, though. I'm not totally sure. Duelist Genesis. How many packs? We, we've now opened 16 packs. This will be 17 right here. We have not pulled an Ultra. Ultras can be a little tough sometimes in 5Ds. We have Snail, Dark Charmer. We have Meister, Remote Revenge, Crabons, The Tricky, and another Ultimate Rare, the Thought Ruler Archfiend, which is actually a pretty good card now. I think because of Edison, it's like it's a, a one of and an Edison uh, extra deck. So Ultimate Rare, that's pretty good. We're getting... <laughs> we're getting synchros uh, in Ultimate Rare, but we are not getting the synchro we want in Ultimate Rare. I guess we do want those two, sort of, but the top one we don't, we're not getting. So two ultimates, though, we can't really complain about that in uh, only 18 or 17 packs, whatever it's been. That's pretty good. I got excited when I saw the Stardust, or not the Stardust, the synchro, hoping it was the Stardust. One, two, three. Ghost Gardener, come on. Let's just, let's just go back to back ultis. Let's see if we can do it. Lightsworn Barrier, speaking of Lightsworns, Destructotron, Mirror of Yada. We got Golem, Trap of Darkness, Sword of Kusanagi. Okay, that is not back-to-back -back ultis. Thought Ruler Archfiend, I think, has definitely aged better recently than... It used to be a very cheap card, but it's definitely better thanks to Edison. We have Noisy Nat. Anything in Edison is now somewhat expensive. Judgment of Thunder, Psychic Rejuvenation, Junk Barrage, Beast of the Pharaoh, Light Wave Tuning, the Selection and, uh, oh, Gladiator Beast War Chariot. Pretty good card, does have a lot of reprints, has like secret rare prints in some of the legendary collections. So this one is not like crazy valuable, but it's still a really good card for the Gladiator Beast deck in Edison. So probably gonna be worth at least a dollar there. Four more special editions. And then we get to the big one, the Stardust 10, which is definitely going to be a crazy one. If there's anything in those first ed Duelist pa Genesis packs, we can absolutely lose that. We already pulled something crazy out of a first ed Stardust Overdrive. Yeah, pack with the Archlord Christia recently. So if we get anything of that caliber, then Lars might be the luckiest person in the world. All right, we have a another Eradicator Epidemic Virus. That's good. Pulling a lot of good promos out of there. Duelist Genesis. We have opened 20 packs now, I think. One, two, three. We're about to be 20. Right here, the 20th pack is going to bring luck. Cycling batteries. We got the Shocker, Mind Protector, Mirror of Yada, Dark the Dark Charmer, Junk Barrage. We have Fish Depth Charge, Trap of Darkness, and Mind Protector. It's always the same few cards there in the last slot that are commons. Okay. Stardust Dragon. Any Stardust Dragon. We're looking for any Stardust Dragon. We have Kanoichi, Ganogo, little penguin looking dude, Battle Tuned, Medium Peace Golem. We have Psychic Rejuvenation, Jude Fighter, Psy Impulse, The Selection, and a Twin Barrel Dragon. So this is a weird foil because it's just like, I don't know. It, it kind of reminds me of just a randomly added thing. It looks it looks kind of weird. I don't I don't know if I like the foil on that. Sometimes I like it when it's on them, but it's got to have some subtlety where some of it doesn't. But this is just all foil on that on this body. It looks kind of weird. All right, last pack of this one, and then we got still nine more nine more special editions. So there's still time. One, two, three, or nine more packs in the special edition. We have a quip shot, noisy gnat, judgment of thunder, fish depth charge, Psy impulse, destructotron, doctor cranium. Cold Enchanter, and oh, the secret rare charge of the Light Brigade. There it is. I've already mentioned it multiple times in this video, and now we've pulled it. This is a really good Duelist Genesis opening. The only thing we're missing now is Goyo Guardian and Stardust. If we pull any versions of those, Charge of the Light Brigade, secret rare. That is probably pretty nice thanks to, I'm assuming this card will still be used in the new Lightsworn support because it's just really good. I mean, you get the mill cards, which is what they want. And then you get to add level four lower Lightsworn, which is just amazing no matter when you're playing it. So, okay, this is, uh, it's a Lars opening. That's all we got to say. Anytime we open something for Lars, we pull insane. So, I mean, compared to his opening where he had a first dead Stardust Ghost Rare and a unlimited Stardust Ghost Rare, I mean, this is 
terrible, but compared to most people, this is amazing. Okay, charge of the light brigade. I think that's the best secret in the in the set. So now we just need Stardust and Goyo. If we get ulti Goyo and a Ghost Rare Stardust, this will be probably the best Duelist Genesis you can possibly have. There's another Heraclinos, so we are pretty even on those. Wow, I can't believe you pulled that. Okay, uh, at this point, it's I'm just expecting to pull Amazing with Lars, and we got the Archlord Christia the other day. Let's see what we can get. We have Ganogo, we have Battle Tuned, Psychic Rejuve, Jute Fighter, Psy Impulse, Beast of the Pharaoh, Herald of the Orange Light, Gear Town. Okay, just the Town of Gears. A couple more packs in this one. Let's see what we can do. Psy Station. Silent Strider, Space Gate, Turbo Booster, Light Sworn Barrier, Orb of Yasaka, Genis, Izanami, and a Sinister Sprocket. All right, another another super rare. We've gotten a lot of supers. The Sinister Sprocket. You guys know what I say about uh, special editions, I, why I like them so much is completely random ratios, and it's proving that today with two ultis, a secret, tons of supers, no ultras. Very interesting arraignment. Here we go. We have uh, Ghost Gardena, Space Gate, Shocker, Dr. Cranium. We have Remote Revenge, Book of Eclipse. Is Book of Eclipse originally printed in this? I didn't know that. We have Golem, Made of the Macabre, and a multiple piece Golem. It's an Ultra, our first Ultra. This is not a great one, but it is an Ultra. So we finally pulled one. Multiple piece goal. I think that's a Jack Atlas card, if I remember correctly, but I haven't watched the 5Ds anime in a long time. Two more special editions. We're now up to two ultis, one secret, one ultra, and like how many supers? Two, three, at least five, I think. Okay. I can't get this card turned around. I think this is an eradicator. If I, yep, it's an eradicator. I think, I feel like we have more eradicators now, if I had to guess, than we do uh, here, Cleanos. Speaking of not having something, Stardust Dragon for Lars. He does already have one, though. <laughs> He already has one, but we have not pulled one. So why not pull one now? Deflector, Mind Protector, Fist Depth Charge. We have Psy Impulse, Destructotron, Dr. Cranium, The Selection, and we have a Counselor Lily, another super. So lots of supers today. Two left. Can we pull any Stardust, Ultra, Ulti, or Ghost? I mean, Ulti or Ghost are going to be insane. Ultra will just be a nice addition. We have Strider, we have Barrage, Remote Revenge, we have Fighter. Lightwave Tuning, Cold Enchanter, and we have a Domino Effect, leaving us with one more Duelist Genesis. One, two, three. One more before the final special edition. We have Domino Effect, Defender, Kusanagi, Turbo Booster, Tricky Spell 4, Oyster Meister, Krebon's pretty good card. We have Big Piece Golem and Mecha Bunny. All right, that leaves us with one more special edition before the Big Ten opening. So we're going to... Cut it open like that. That might be a little easier. Duelist Genesis final unlimited packs here, I think, because I think both in the 10 are first ed. So if we want to save a good pull for those, it'd be nice. Anything ultra or above in first ed would probably be pretty good. All right, last one. What promo did we get? Another Hero Cleanos. It's either 5-5 five, five or 6-4 uh, Eradicator, I believe. So not bad. Sometimes you can get like seven of the bad one and three of the good one. So that's definitely not terrible. Let's see. Speaking of good one, let's get one right here. We have the Twin Shield Defender. Double shields. We have Kusanagi, Snail. We're getting a lot of the same cards. Needlebug Nest. We have the Medium Piece Golem, Tricky Spell 4, Turbo Booster, Telekinetic Charging Cell, and a. No, another Ultra Psychic Overlord. This is one that likes to appear because it is not a good Ultra or Ulti. So thankfully, it's just an Ultra, not one of, like an Ulti. That would be kind of rough as an Ulti. Okay, two packs left for Lars. This is two packs of the Unlimited, and then we go right into the 10, which has a couple more packs in there. We have. Noisy Ganat, Kusanagi, Judgment of Thunder, Barrage, Revenge, Jute Fighter, Lightwave Tuning, The Tricky, and Ghost Garden, uh, leaving us with one more out of the Special Edition. Overall, the Special Edition, I think, has been pretty successful. Really good secret, really good ultimate, pretty solid, one, two, three, and a lot of good uh, of the promos. The promos were good. We have Synchro Deflector, Mecha Bunny, Domino Effect, Jute Fighter, Lightwave Tuning, The Dark, The Dark Charmer, Oyster Meister, Trap of Darkness, and Ghost Gardener. Okay, Ghost Gardener. Didn't end off with anything crazy there, but we're not done yet. 
We have five more packs in here, I believe. Made in Belgium, Stardust Dragon 10. So pretty amazing packs. Duelist Genesis, two Phantom Darkness, uh, one Light Destruction, and one promotional pack. So here we go. Already has a little rip in it. Let's just open it from here. Very expensive 10. So shout out to Lars for sending us this 10 to open up for him. Let's see if we can get him a crazy pull. Let's hope, first of all, that the promo is in good condition. Because this, I mean, I'm guessing a Stardust Collector uh, 10 promo is probably going to be a couple hundred at least in a PSA 10. And that one looks pretty good. The top has got something weird going on with that. I'm not sure. It's, it might be just warping. Back is super clean, though. And centering looks amazing. So that's a potential nice one. I don't know if that top's going to mess with it or not. But overall, very clean card. Stardust 10 or Stardust Dragon promo from the 10 looks great. All right, I can already see it now. First Dead Duelist Genesis at the top. There's our promo pack at the back. I'm probably going to leave this sealed because it's token. So we'll put that to the side. Two first dead Stardust Dragon, the Duelist Genesis, 10 or packs. They're gonna have, you know, the, the fabled three ghosts in, in two packs is gonna happen. We have Light of Destruction, we have two Phantom Darkness. So really good selection here. Let's start with Phantom Darkness. We'll save the first dead Duelist Genesis for the end because these Phantom Darkness is unlimited, but we could still get a Dark Arm Dragon unlimited secret, which would be amazing. And many other awesome cards from the set. I'm gonna do three because I don't know what the pack trick is. We have all out attack. Speaking of all out, let's get an all out pull. We have Dunker, Sitting Downpour. We have Twinkle Moss, Spell Chronicle. These cards feel weird. The Chain Summoning. Oh, yeah, because they're made in Belgium. That's why we have Gladiator Beast. We have Offering to the Snake Deity and a Sea Koala. That is not what we're searching for at the moment. That's okay. Okay, let's do the Light of Destruction pack. Can we get a Ghost or Honest? Can we get a Judgment Dragon Secret Rare? The bottom of these is the part that seems like it wants to open up it's kind of interesting one two three ghost rare something like that we have space gift lady in white jane lightsworn paladin speaking of lightsworns there's going to be lightsworns and you know light of destruction we have cup of ace raging cloudian i don't like really like the look of these they look kind of dull i don't love the belgian print i wonder if the ghosts will still look good creative force three Oh, and there's a super rare Wolf Lightsworn Beast. Speaking of Lightsworns, that's pretty good. A Wolf Lightsworn Beast, LODT, super rare, not bad. Not a bad pull there at all. One more Phantom Darkness, then we have the last two, the finale of the opening, the first edition packs, which we've been waiting for. I think it might be a four from the back, but I'm just going to keep doing three. Cyber Ouroboros, Regenerating Rose, we have Rainbow Veil, Samsara Lotus, Fire Trooper, The Calculator, Black Velasi, another ultimate rare dark horus and this is the one we pulled out of our error pack recently that's interesting dark horus ulti okay the ulti looks really good so it has like a euro print on the ulti because you know belgium so very cool that looks amazing wow that looks super nice all right i have high hopes for these last two packs hopefully we didn't use all our luck on that dark horse but either way that's a nice ultimate rare pull out of five packs it doesn't happen in tens very often first edition duelist genesis a crazy pack here we go. Let's see what we can get. Uh, it's it's made in Belgium, so it might have some cool stuff in there, you know, a little bit different than the US print. But either way, potential at a first edition Ghost Rare Stardust, which can be worth thousands of dollars if it's in great condition. So I think it's four, but I'm going to do three just to be safe. We have Dark the Dark Charmer, Oyster Meister. Let's see. Noisy Nat, first edition Duelist Genesis cards. You rarely see this open, so I'm excited to pull something big. Here we go. Mirror of Yada, Ghost Gardener. It could be this card. Herald of the Orange Light. Okay, it is one more. And the Beast of the Pharaoh. Okay, that is uh, not a good card. Final pack. One more chance at first Dead Duelist Genesis. We are asking if we get an ulti or a ghost or a secret, anything will be awesome. It doesn't matter what it is. Even an ultra, if it's like Goyo or Stardust or something like that. Here we go. Upside down card. So we want to go one, two, three. It's definitely three last time. Quillbold Hedgehog. We have Remote Revenge. Telekinetic Shocker, Sword of Kusanagi, Mind Protector, Turbo Booster. Give us that Ghost Rare right here, the tricky final card. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to thank Lars for sending us these awesome cards. And now let's thank him by pulling a Ghost Rare First Edition Stardust. Oh no, but it is a super. Oh wait, there was interesting. There was, there was a different order there. Sinister Sprocket. We have a super, not the super we're looking for, the Sinister Sprocket, but it is a foil card. Shout out to Tomfo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dean, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Anatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.